Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a talking video. I know I haven't been here for a while. I haven't posted probably almost a year. Um, but I want to come on here and share with you guys this video and talk to you guys about it and share some things that I've been going through um, at my last job. I'll be telling you guys kind of like a story time of what I've been going through. Um, and telling you how it is and what I've been going through working at this place. So if you're new here, my name's Mandy. I do like life videos, a lot of things about my life, things I like. I used to do crafting videos, hauls. My channel is just all over the place to be honest. Um, but I've never made a video of just sitting down with you guys and talking to you guys story times or like talking to you for a long period of time. So this video is kind of new for me. So I'm going to just talk to you and tell you guys what I've been going through. You guys could comment down below if you've been going through this as well. Because a lot of employers, a lot of places, businesses have been making it a point to force um to force their employees to get the vaccine and this is what this video is going to be about really is my experience working for a company that is a very large company and they are changing their policy and pretty much making you choose your job or your faith or your reasoning why you can't get the vaccine and I think that's very horrible, uh, especially me. I worked, I'm going to just say the company, I worked at Disneyland for four years and three months. August would have been five years for me. So it was, it was a very long time for me that I worked there. So um, out of nowhere, like... Things have been changing through the company, through the year, due to COVID and all that. So um, it was really hard that the policy changed out of nowhere. You worked there yesterday and now the next day your policy has changed. So um, a lot of people, not that I know of, but I've heard a lot of people, and I could just imagine a lot of people at Disneyland quit. Um or are gonna be let go because there is a certain time that you have to get the vaccine to work there so people that have um, medical reasons or religious reasons they can try the exemptions but sometimes those don't go through and they are not approved so you either have to be forced to keep your job to get the vaccine or you quit you quit or you give your two weeks or you give in and you do what you don't feel like is right. You're basically forced to do it um, to keep your job. Which is very messed up, I think, because we don't... This vaccine is very new, so we don't know what is in it. We don't know the side effects. We don't know what could happen in 5-10 years from now for taking this shot. We really don't know what's in it. And a lot of people that I work with, worked with, had no idea the certain things that are in the vaccine. They just got it because one, they were forced or they just felt like it was the right thing to do because everyone else was doing it. Um, I don't judge anybody that got it. I don't feel a certain way because they got it. That's their choice. They wanted to make, so they got it. I respect their choice. It's just not my choice. And I have religious beliefs uh, why I didn't get it. So I went through the process of doing the religious exemption. And I got it approved. And um, when you get it approved, you get an email saying you have restrictions. Because you're not vaccinated. They give you basically rules that you have to follow because you're not vaccinated. And this is another thing that I thought was very messed up and very discriminating and kind of like belittling people with religious um, exemptions and um, medical reasons why they couldn't get it. 
because these restrictions are singling out the people that aren't vaccinated. And I thought it was very, um, very cruel, to be honest, um, because it's singling out, it's making sure the people that are vaccinated know that you're not vaccinated because, um, the people that are not vaccinated are the only ones that have to wear a face shield, safety goggles, or an N95 mask. So that's basically pointing out that you're different and you're not vaccinated. So I thought that was very, um, like singling me out. Not just me, but for the most part in my department, there was only three other people that I know of that were trying to get that religious exemption. So to me, it's very like discriminating. It's very messed up that Disney felt the need to do that even though like we have thousands thousands of guests going into our parks and we don't ask them for their vaccination card most of our guests do not wear masks um i'm pretty sure they're not vaccinated not all of them are because there are people out there that don't want to wear it and i understand that too but for the most part i know most people that come into our parks are not vaccinated um they're just over the mask and that's their choice to not wear their mask if they don't want to wear it but i think it's messed up that disney has this policy of forcing people that aren't vaccinated to wear this stuff singling them out putting their business out there for other people to know oh she's not vaccinated so kind of like stay away from her or like it's singling us out it really is if you look at it in that um perspective it really is singling um religious people or medical condition people out because it's pretty much pointing out the people that aren't vaccinated are wearing these items so be careful because they're not vaccinated or you totally can tell She's wearing a face shield. She wasn't wearing it two days ago. She's not vaccinated. So I really think it was a very messed up thing that Disney did. Um, and I was just going by faith, my faith. And I was grateful that I got the religious exemption approved. Until I had to do the restrictions and they were forcing me to wear what I didn't feel like was right. Because... I work eight hour shifts and I am busting my butt for this company and they want to point out that I'm not vaccinated and they want to single me out because of my religion. I thought it was very messed up. So um, there was a point where I basically told my managers no. I was, for I was um, not complying with the restrictions. So one of my managers, um, her name was Betty. I'm gonna use fake names because I don't wanna put put them out there even though what they did was messed up and the way they come about things was re really unprofessional and bad in my opinion. So the main manager I'm talking about right now is gonna be Betty. She, um, basically was the one to like push the issue i had my restrictions approved in february and then all of march i was like fine no the beginning of february so all of february i was fine not doing my restrictions no one pointed anything out until like the beginning of march betty kept um she like pulled me aside one day and told me oh your restrictions you're not following them do you need to look them over and i'm like no i already know what they are and she was like okay so you need to follow them and i'm like okay i was very annoyed excuse me i was very annoyed and um i just felt like it wasn't right so i kind of ignored the fact that she told me that and kept working so every day i would go to work not wearing that I'd always wear my face mask, but that was it. I wouldn't wear anything else that they wanted me to. 
um, because other managers, other leads would never tell me anything. It was just this one manager that would like would make it an issue. Um, so for a long time, I was good until March. I think I would say like March twentieth. I think it happened around that week. Um, so just a few weeks ago, like two weeks ago, almost two weeks ago, this happened where one of my managers pulled me, I was in the office using the computer, <coughs> excuse me, and Betty, she um, saw me in the office and pulled me aside again and she's like, oh, are you leaving? And I'm like, no, I'm here, I'm just using the computer. She's like, okay, when you're done, come to our office, the manager's office. And I felt like when I walked to the office, I was already upset because I already knew what was going to happen and I already knew they were going to just upset me about this problem that we had. So I go into the office and I feel like I'm getting ganged up on because there was like five managers in that office and they asked for my personnel number. I give them my personnel number and they're like, oh, okay, we're going to pull up your restrictions and they pulling, they're pulling them up. They're reading them to me. I was already annoyed. By the fact that they're doing this right now and just the way they just ganged up on me I just felt really uncomfortable and upset about this whole situation so um they're reading them to me and I already knew what it was so I was already annoyed so they're reading them to me and they're like okay well have you been following your restrictions and I'm like no I have not and she's like okay well you need to wear a face shield and I'm like okay what I'm not going to wear that. I'm telling her no, that I'm not going to wear it. So basically, I'm telling her I'm not going to comply with wearing a face shield. She's like, okay, then you need to wear the fa safety goggles. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to wear that. And then she's like, okay, well, why aren't you going to wear them? And I'm like, she's like, why haven't you been wearing them? And I told her, basically, I don't feel right wearing them. I'm not going to wear them. And she's like, okay, then you have to wear this N95 mask. And I was already like pissed off. I was really mad at them for doing this um, and just putting me through this situation. A uh, very horrible situation that they are putting me through. Um, so they hand me the N95 mask. I walk out because I'm really upset. I walk out and I go to the warehouse inside our warehouse and I'm very mad and one of my leads his name was Fernando. Um, he saw that I was upset. He's like, let's just try this face mask out. And I'm like, I do not want to wear this. I really do not want to wear this. Like, they're forcing me to wear this. I don't want to wear it. And he's like, let's just try it on. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe it'll be okay. Maybe it won't be so bad. And I'm like, fine. I really didn't want to wear it, but I just wanted to try it out. To try to stay at work because I was already there. And, uh... Um, I tried on and I had no idea how to put those N95 masks on. They're very uncomfortable. They squeeze your head and they're very tight on the face and I've heard that they're very hard to breathe in. So I put it on and like I said, it was very tight. It was like suffocating, like it was suffocating my cheeks. So it was very tight and it didn't fit. So I'm like, there's no way I could wear eight hours. And wear this because I suffer from migraines as well so I knew that this was gonna be a problem with me wearing it and I was so mad so I took it off and there was this old man I was very close to his name was Dave um I was very close to him and he knew I was very upset so um he was asking me like are you okay and I just started crying. I just started crying with uh, frustration. I was just very frustrated right now. So I just cried and I, uh, my lead saw me, Fernando. He saw me crying and he's like, you need to go outside. He needs, he's like, you need to go catch your breath, go wipe your face, go take a breather outside. So I go outside and mind you, I'm still on the clock. Um, so, I'm still on the clock. I'm breathing. I really wanted to just call my mom. My mom is my best friend. 
and all these situations that I've been going through I always call my mom and she's always there to tell me it's gonna be okay give me advice all that but I am 23 years old so I have to like try not to call her for every situation that I go through so I didn't call her um I wiped my face and I went to Fernando and he's like, maybe you should talk to like one of the higher up managers. So we have like a head manager. Her name was, mm, her name will be Kathy. Her name was Kathy. Um, I've never talked to her really ever. I never had issues. I never was like a troubled cast member or never really had problems to talk to her. So, in my head, I really didn't want to talk to her because I didn't want to be that cast member to give problems or be an issue with. Um, so, it was very hard for me to do that. So, I just did it because I, he told me, Fernando told me, he's like, maybe show, like, there's another alternative. Maybe you can buy your own mask or maybe, maybe there's another alternative alternative basically and i'm like okay so i go to uh the manager's office and none of the managers are there there's only one her name was samantha um she was the only one in the manager's office and she's like hi like can i hey guys um i'm back sorry i needed to make another part of this because i was about to say her name um it's kathy but i was gonna say her real name so I needed to film this part of the video and I'll just fix it later in the video. Also, the dogs are in here. So if you hear noises, they're going to be in here. Um, they wanted to come hang out with me. So like I was saying, I was talking to Samantha and I asked her if I could talk to Kathy, the main manager. And she's like, yeah um let me see if she's available because her door is always shut always when she's there it's always shut for some reason so um she knocks on the door and she basically tells her that i needed to talk to her and she was available so i went in there mind you i never ever really talked to this lady before because i never had a problem never had an issue wasn't that cast member always in there um so i was really quite nice to her um even though i was upset about the situation and everything i'm going through right now um so she's basically i basically go in there she's nice to me um but she doesn't know that i'm not vaccinated so i basically i'm trying to explain to her like hi my name is mandy I'm I applied for my religious exemption and I'm not vaccinated and as soon as I said that she already had one mask on she felt the need to put a second mask on to talk to me I felt like that was very rude and very unprofessional for her to do that and just very like like singling me out again like to talk to me she needed to put a second face mask on. I thought it was just very rude and ridiculous that she did that. Um, so I kind of lost respect. And I knew this was going to go nowhere talking to her. Um, so I basically was upset but I didn't let that bother me. I told her why I was in there and what I needed, needed to talk to her about. So... I'm explaining to her that I got it approved, but I do have restrictions. And she's like, okay, let me pull those restrictions up. So she pulls my restrictions up, and I told her basically what the restrictions were. And she read them, and she's like, yeah, you need to wear one of these things. Um, and I'm like, okay, well, I'm not, I feel like this is not right. It's 100% not right. It's very discriminating. It's singling me out. And she tried to say, um, yeah, it's just tough decisions we need to make. Um, and I'm like, yeah, it's ridiculous. I have to be forced to wear this 
this stuff to work or I have to get forced to do something I don't want to do and get the vaccine to keep my job. Like those are the <laughs> that's the decision that I have to make. You either get the, the shot that you don't want, you can't get because your religious reasons, you don't feel comfortable getting it, or you have medical reasons. So you either get it or you lose your job for not getting it. Um, so I told her like, yeah, it is a very hard decision, but I, I either get it, do this or lose my job basically and she's like yeah basically um one second so um i'm like yeah it's horrible horrible decision i have to make and horrible that you guys are making me go through this and have it's not them but it's disney it's disney that made this policy making it so hard for people that been there 15 years to just get a shot just to work there I think it's very horrible that they make their cast members do that. You either be there forever, 20 years, 15 years, your whole, like, majority of your life you give to Disney because you work there and you bust your butt, or you just quit. Most of the people that work there for a long time can't quit. Can't afford to quit. Been there so long. Been in the company for so long that they're kind of like forced to get the shot because they've been there so long that's all they know and they've done so much for the company that it doesn't make sense for them to leave it's just easier to just get the shot which is horrible i think that that they just made the cast members do it um so i'm basically telling her yeah it's horrible that i'm going through this and i have to do this and she's like yeah but it's tough decisions that you need to make and I'm like, okay. And her tone of voice is very like, well, it is what it is. You got to do what you got to do. Like, she didn't really care. Um, she was kind of apologetic, but I don't feel like it was sincere at all. Um, and she's like, okay, I'm going to give you HR's number. You can call HR and figure it out. But I doubt it's going to help at all. Like, I doubt you'll get anywhere with it. So very negative. Um... So, um, I told her, okay, well, what if I don't comply every day I come to work? And she's like, if you don't comply every day, we're going to have to send you home every day with points. Um, and then eventually we're going to take it to HR and then eventually they'll probably terminate you. Terminate means basically fired. So they're going to basically fire me until I comply. And I felt like I just constantly had it in my head that it wasn't right that I'm religious, like I'm religious. Um, I have my religious beliefs why I didn't get it and they're singling me out. So I just felt like it wasn't right for me to just wear what they wanted me to wear to single me out. I just felt that way. Like that's what it is. Um, some people might disagree, but that's how I felt about it. And that's still what I, how I feel about it to this day. Um, so I told her, okay, well, I'm not going to comply today. And she said, okay, I'm going to have to send you home. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. So they sent me home. Uh, I talked to a few people in the kitchen because at the time I was working in the kitchen. I say my goodbyes to certain people in the kitchen. And they sent me home. So I leave. Um, and then for a good week. Mm, wait, was it a week? Yeah, for a good week, I called out because I really didn't know what I was going to do if I was I was I'm never going to get the vaccine I knew that for sure um because if I wanted it I would have got it a long time ago but no um I just I'm not going to get it I'm not going to get it um for religious reasons and for my personal reasons why I don't want to get it um so I knew that that wasn't going to happen it was just basically me complying if I was going to comply or not and I really felt that I was fighting to try not to have to wear all the extra things that they wanted me to wear. So I tried to get a doctor's note. My doctors um, didn't feel like the reasoning for my migraines wasn't good enough 
for me not to wear the mask or the face shield and all that other stuff. So they denied my request. Um, so I basically didn't go on with HR and give them a doctor's note because I didn't have a doctor's note to give them. So I called out for a good week and then I went to work. They sent me home again. Um, they sent me home again with points. And then I think that was the last day I ever went back um, to try to go to work because I already knew that they were going to just send me home. Come here. Come on. So I already knew that they were going to just send me home. One second. Come on, Sticky. Come on. Come on, Bobo. Come on. Come on. Sorry, Spanky's one coming, coming in and out of the, the shed. Um. So, yeah, I knew that they were going to just keep sending me home with points so that day was the last day I went because I just was annoyed by going I mean gas is expensive now so um I just felt like it was kind of pointless me going them sending me home with points every day um so it was just a waste of time and waste of gas so I just that day was the last day that I uh went to work um so I think I called out another few days um, but that day when I went, I didn't have my doctor's note yet. So I was working on the doctor's note and then I really pray about it. You know, like it was a very stressful, stressful and, um, emotional week. Um, it was very hard to make my decision, but, um, I would pray a lot about it to just tell God, like, please help me out and try to give me, like, a clear image of what you want me to do. Like, a clear sign what I should do in this situation. If I should just comply and keep my job or no, move on. Like, this is a sign to just move on. So, I didn't get that. Like, all this whole week, I'm like, um... I just didn't get that sign. Maybe I got the sign, but I just couldn't see it. Until this one night. I forgot what day it was of the week. It was, um, I forgot what day. But it was, like, a clear sign. I got the email of my doctors. Um, my doctors not approving my no. That was a sign for me. Because that was the last step that I could have took to keep my job. So, I got the email at night, and I knew, like, that was it. That was God telling me, this is it. This is your sign that you move on. That you just, that's it. Like, you just move on from this company and this time of your life, and you move on to something better and something that they're not going to make you feel this way. Working for a company that made me feel the way I did was very horrible um especially all the like hard work I've done a lot of people that I know hard working people break their backs for Disney and they really don't care because they're making people force they're forcing people to get this vaccine or they're just firing people or qu making people quit that have been there for a long time and have broke their backs for them and their company which is very horrible and i forgot to tell you guys that whole week um the day i got sent home was a friday so i just kept calling out and that sunday i needed church like i really needed church to pray about it and to just get a sign from god and really just pray about it and him help me figure out what I'm going to do. So that Sunday I went to church. And I've never had. I don't think I've ever had like an anxiety attack. But in church I felt. Because I had so much on my mind. I know when you go to church. You're like supposed to leave all that. Out the door. And just really focus on the. On the. Um, talk that. Your pastor or priest is going to talk about. Um, but I really couldn't like everything was just so 
fresh and like so much stuff was on my mind um very stressed out so i felt very like panicky in church i felt like my heart was beating fast my breathing was kind of weird i think because i was just so overwhelmed and stressed that even church like made me feel that way you know like i just had too much on my mind and too much on my plate so i was praying about it i was really trying to focus on the gospel that we were that my pre uh pastor was talking about but i was just so like distracted with all my problems that i was currently going through um so we usually have this um not tradition but every sunday we usually go to church and then we eat breakfast or lunch so that day we went to we were gonna go somewhere to eat so we go in the car and i'm riding with my sister's boyfriend and my sister in his truck and i felt very like panicky like my heart was beating fast and i just felt like i didn't feel right i didn't feel like myself i wasn't even that hungry in the moment because i was so like panicky and i was worried about my heart beating so fast and me basically having a panic attack i'm pretty sure that's what it was um so i told them when we got home like i don't feel right i don't feel like i should go um to go eat i just really don't feel right and my mom's like it's okay like just take a deep breath here's a water drink a water we're gonna drive over there and just come with us i'm like okay so i go and we go to lucille's it's a barbecue spot um we go there for lunch and i it's me this time i drove with my mom and my dad um to lucille's so we're driving and then we walk in and i still feel this like my heart beating fast and like this weird feeling and i'm like dude like in my head i'm like what is this like it's really affecting me and they take us to go sit down at the table and i don't sit down because i feel like i'm about to panic like my heart is beating fast and i don't want to sit down because i feel like i'm having a panic attack so i run to the bathroom and i go to the stall and i start like crying because my heart is just beating so down like so down fast that i'm just stressed out of my mind over this decision and over all this crap and i'm going through all this crap because of this company like this company made me go through freaking like hell and back like i really went through that like i went through some stuff over this company making me decide this decision you know i've been there almost five years and it's just like it was really hard it was really hard um for me to make the decision that i did um but yeah i go i i'm done in the bathroom and i basically um wash my face cool down and then i go and i i'm able to like calm down and eat so i calmed down i ate but it was just an emotional roller coaster um that whole week that whole week i'd cry a lot i was overthinking a lot i never had a panic attack again it was just that one day um but it's just crazy to me that I had to go through all that stuff for this company. Like this company made me go through all this stuff. So in my head, when I did get that email from my doctors, I was at, at ease. I wasn't upset. Ever since I got that email, I wasn't upset about anything. Like it's just like that sign from God really helped me to make my decision of leaving the company i qu i quit i'll like i'm gonna tell you guys what happened but i did quit um because i feel like that was a sign for me to just quit um or just be let go but they were taking a long time to let me go so i just quit um but yeah it just really does suck because i knew a lot of good people that i worked with and it was very sad when i didn't even get to say goodbye to like a lot of people 
that I wish I would be able to just hug and just tell them thank you and all that. Um, but I had to make this decision. I had to make this decision uh, for myself, for my health, and for me standing up what I think is right and was not right is what they're doing. Forcing people to get the vaccine and forcing people to wear face shields, face safety goggles, or N95 masks to basically show you that I'm not vaccinated. So I feel like it wasn't right. I do stand by my decision still. And I do stand by what I think is right and what I think is wrong. That's why I'm making this video to let you guys know how Disney is <laughs> as a company. I know you guys love Disneyland. I'll probably get hate for this video. But I know there's other people out there that had to make this decision. Um, you know, even though, like, me, I don't have, like, a family, like, kids or a husband or anything like that. For me to be like, oh, I need my job. Like, I need to get this vaccine to keep my job. I am not in that position. So, for me, it was very easy to just let it go. It's It was very sad and hard. It took me, like, like a week. I think a week and a few days to really make my decision to quit. So, um, basically, I quit last week. I forgot what day it was. But I quit last week. And I basically called Kathy. I was trying to get a hold of her, but it's always hard to get a hold of her. Because sometimes she's there, sometimes she's not. Sometimes she steps out. So I called her, and I already knew that I was going to quit. So I called her and I finally got a hold of her and um, I basically told her, um, explained to her who I was because I know she probably forgot who I was. So I basically told her what happened and trying to remind her who I was. So she's like, yeah, I remember we actually took your case to HR. So they were basically already planning on firing me anyways. And I'm like, okay, I was just wondering if I could give my two weeks and not comply. And she's like, no, you would have to give your two weeks and comply and wear whatever we tell you to wear. And I'm like, okay, then I quit. Um, she's like, okay, um, I'm going to explain to you how this goes now. Um, so she basically told me what I had to do, what it was going to be, my check, or my last check, and then I have to take my costumes back, and that I might not be rehirable. Um, but I, in my thoughts, I would never work at Disney again because one, I quit and all the stuff they made me go through. And this is not even like, I, I've been to other things working at Disney. If you guys want a different video about that, comment down below if you want to hear other stories I have about Disney and working there. Um, some people have different experiences working there. Some people say, oh, I love it. Never had a problem, never had a bad day, nothing. Me, I have some stories. If you guys want to hear those, comment down below and subscribe if you want to know more videos about working at Disney. Um, what else happened? Um, I think that was basically it. I basically talked to her, told her I quit. She's like, okay, you have to take your costumes back, all that. So I just did that two days ago that I took my costumes back. Um... But yeah, I think that was it. Um, oh, and usually we have we have a um, Facebook page for cast members in our department. So usually when people quit or get, not really get fired, when people quit, they usually post their goodbye, like farewell post. So I, I did that that day. As soon as I quit, I posted something to tell people that that was it. And I had to like leave the company and basically saying goodbye. It's not what I wanted um, as far as saying goodbye to everybody. I really wanted to give my two weeks and do it the right way. But I wasn't able to do that. Um, but yeah, that is basically me working at Disney and having to quit over this stupid vaccine that is mandated um and it just sucks that people are just 
yeah, having to go through this and having to make these hard decisions, um, I just don't think it's right that you have to be forced to do something you do not want to do. Um, it should be your choice. It's your body. It should be your choice of what you want to go in it. Um, and it's just really unfortunate that Disney made this policy and is sticking to their policy. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to come on here and share this video. I don't know how long it's going to be. Um, but I want to share this experience that I've been going, that I went through. Working on Disneyland and having to get the vaccine and not getting it. I know other people that worked at Disney that went through the same thing. Or people in general that had to go through this same thing. Comment down below if you guys went through this. And where you worked or where you do work. If you're having problems because of the vaccine and all that. Um, yeah, just let me know if you guys can relate. I wanted to make this video, I don't know if it's going to be good or bad, but I just wanted to share with you guys what it is. I know everyone loves Disneyland, but it is not the happiest place on earth, um, especially if you work there. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here. And comment down below if you guys want to see more videos like this. Um, but yeah. I'm going to try to film more too, so just subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.